Hey guys, welcome to another episode of How To Tech Tutorials. I'm Mariah, an online business coach and SEO strategist over at MariahMagazine.com. And today I'm going to walk you through how to add and delete users from Google Analytics. If you're new over here, just make sure you click that subscribe button down below because I'm posting new videos every single week to help you uncomplicate the world of online business. All right, now let's hop right in to this tutorial. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. If we want to add a user um, and give them access to our Google Analytics information here, just log into Google Analytics. And in the bottom left-hand corner, you're gonna see admin. Go ahead and click on that. And then you're gonna go to property user management, okay? So go ahead and click on that one and this fun little box will pop right up. So then we click on this plus icon and we're gonna click add users. Okay, so then you're gonna go ahead and put in the user's email address. Now note that in order for a user to get access to Google Analytics, they have to have a Gmail email address. So they either have to have like G Suite for business, like I do with this email address, or they have to have an at gmail.com email address. Okay, and then we're gonna probably want to notify the new user by email that they have um, access to your Google Analytics account. And then if we look down here, we're gonna see permissions. So you can go ahead and check and uncheck these boxes, depending on um, what kind of permissions, what kind of access you wanna give this user. So if you only want them to be able to read your data, then only keep the read and analyze box checked. If you wanna give them a little bit more access, like let's say if they're running like social media ads, or if they're doing SEO work, um, things like that, and you want to give them access to create customized dashboards and set up customized goals and filters, all of the little bit more advanced stuff, go ahead and check these boxes. If you want to give them full admin privileges, so they will be able to add users, delete users, change these permissions themselves, like let's say that you hired a business manager, okay? You're probably gonna wanna give them access to go ahead and do that. So go ahead and check that box. And then go ahead and click this add button in the top corner. And it is going to shoot that user an email, letting them know that they now have access to your Google Analytics account. So let's say that you're done working with this person and you want to delete their access you can go ahead and click on their profile here. And you can go ahead and click this remove button in the corner, and then you will be able to remove their access to your Google Analytics. So go ahead and click remove right there. And then when the page reloads, you will see that their name is no longer in your property permissions. So then when you're all set, close out of there. And then if you wanna go back to your dashboard, hit that home button. And you are right where we started. Okay, so that's it for today's tutorial. If you found this helpful, go ahead and give the video a quick thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss out on all of the how-to videos I have in the works for you. And if you made it until the end end, take a screenshot of this tutorial and tag me in your Instagram story over at Mariah Magazine Studio so I can share it and say hi. I really love connecting with all of you guys. All right, chat soon.